pops up. This okay. is shocking. People don't normally go here. Okay. And I'm really excited to see the characters that we're going to get here. Um, I, I know we uh, we just got a, a healthy healthy dosage of Wolf. And then, of course, we got a little bit of Olimar as well. But it looks like we're going to... Oh, wow. We got a Fire Emblem on Fire Emblem kill. Oh, really? oh, man. What the heck? When did the atrocity stop? So many sword people playing here. So you said it's uh, twitch.tv slash 2G Gaming? 2, 2GG Gaming, I think. I think. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. We're going to pull it up, man. All right. Yeah, it's uh, 2G Gaming. 2G and then Gaming. Oh, 2G then gaming. Alright, All right, cool. we got it, we got it. Alright, let's go guys. We have Ike versus Roy. Alright. Both really good fireman <laughs> characters, I'd say at least high tier. Mm -hmm. You know, we saw MK Leo's Ike. Mm -hmm. However, I, I must admit I don't believe in Ike too much. No? No. You think you think it's just like some early meta stuff will figure it out as the as things progress? Yeah, he's neutral air master. Yeah. Maybe people can mix it up and have more to do than neutral air because he kills really early. However, right now, that's what it looks like. And if you see neutral air coming, like as you saw with light, he just carries you in one. Yeah, well, that's that's true. You know, and on the opposite end of this too, you know, Roy certainly has some options to oh use God. versus Ike. The biggest one being that counter off stage, man. He's like, look, I'm not about to go off stage and trade with you. My recovery is not the best in the world. Let me show you what this counter is talking about, though, dog. Beautiful stuff. You know, both of these two characters also have the ability to combo each other relatively easy. I think a little bit more Ike than Roy, but, um, you know, with that in mind, I, I think, you know, one solid hit from either side, and as you see, you're going to take just a ton of damage. So both of them really, really patient on how they decide to come in. Yeah, right now, I feel Velvet's more patient. Right now, we have Log. He's being really aggressive, and Velvet's waiting for the one opportunity to get in. And here it is. Right now, he has Ike sitting there on these platforms. Ike doesn't want to be there. Absolutely not. Drops down real quick. Goes for the up tilt. That moves pretty. Oh my goodness. Almost ran right into the forest mask. Come on now. Okay. Getting a little bit too aggressive. Sometimes it's never a bad thing to just pull the trigger on the forest mask. Just, just to let your opponent know, man, you're going to have to respect me a little bit. All right. Yep. I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll just swing. Wow. That was really interesting. You almost got the counter to work there. However, at the same time, Log almost got that up smash. And again, Log struggling to get that KO. I feel like now what, what could happen here for somebody like, you know, Velvet or, or Sushi? Uh, I feel like he could show his hand a little bit too much with that that counter. Yeah. And if Log starts to pick up on that, he might start running up and shielding, waiting for an option, and then going for the punish too. Yeah, I agree with that. Especially if he uses counter too much right now. There it goes again. He is using counter too much. So I feel like Log needs to just go up and get a grab. Right now, Log is fishing for that neutral air, and he's struggling with it. I think he knows that. You know, both Rory and and I both play a very similar game in terms of like what they can do in this matchup. I think he knows that when it comes to range physically, though, he's obviously, you know, lacking in a few areas. So he's like, look, if I can't get in, I'm going to force you to come in. And the way I'm going to get my hits is just going to go. I'm going to go for counter instead. But you don't want to do that too many times because even though, uh, you know, you could get some follows off of Nair with Ike. I mean, he could also get some low percent combos off of Grab, too. I mean, he could do that virtually in any version of Smash. That is true. Ooh. And wow, that F Smash. Another one. Another one. Oh, my gosh. He keeps countering a little too early. Mm -hmm. That down tilt, down B. Boom. And that's that it. should be death. Yeah, that's going to do it, man. Wow. Wow. Made very quick work, man. A three stock, too. It, that, that's our first three stock since you and I have been on. Yeah. All right. Well, good stuff right there to my boy, Roy. Doing a fantastic job. Ike, I feel like it wasn't that bad. He just got countered. Yeah. He kept trying to go for neutral air too much. Well, I, you know, I'll, well, that too, and then of course, you know, he just had his weaknesses kind of exploited. Maybe not his weaknesses as a player, because it certainly looks like he knows how to play. Like, but I think his weaknesses as a as a character were exploited just a little bit too hard on stage. He did a pretty okay job at fighting in the neutral. It was just like how he was going to come back with quick draw, and when he decided to quick draws, what kind of you know put the nail in the coffin for him that first game. Um, game number two, though, like we've seen in the last match with Seagull Joe. Hopefully, there's some room for adaptation. There could be Ike versus Roy. I know a lot of people used to say Ike was a worse swordsman. And okay. then they saw MKLeo win Smash Conference. So they're like, whoa, oh my gosh, maybe Ike is actually back. I, I don't know about that. Man, not not only did an Ike win Smash Conference, MKLeo was like, I don't even really play this character. He was like, you know, I just I just kind of, yeah, remember, I just kind of do the damn Yo, thing. That thing blows my mind. He was like, my best character is Cloud. Then he takes out Cloud, and he's like, now my best character is Lucina. Now I'm waiting. Now my best character is Korra. Like, I feel like he's going to change it every two weeks. But let's see. All right, man. My boy Sushi. Oh, that's his name, Sushi. Su sushi. Vel Velvet Sushi. I've, mm. ne I've never had that flavor before. That must be something new. Oh, I'm ready to have it after this uh, tournament set. But if he wins, <laughs> that's right, man. All right, Ooh. man. But with the way things are starting now, man, it looks like he might have a bit of a harder time winning this one. Cl much close quarters. And as you know, Ike, very, very long character. And then, of course, with the way that this stage is kind of shaped, it, it could be a little difficult to try to position yourself properly on when you want to come in. Yeah. There's been a few times like on stages like this, like stages like uh, 
yo, Yoshi's Island Brawl, where like I'm on that slant, and I'm like, oh, I can run up and grab you. And then because you're on a slant, I just whip it completely and eat like 10,000%. Oh, yeah, true. That's why I actually hate the Sid. He's so small, too. Mm -hmm. So all that adds together. However, Ooh. my boy, Log, oh my gosh. I appreciate that run off the bear. A lot of people do not go for that. Yes. And with the character like Roy, who probably needed to drop down a little bit and then try to up B so he can try to snap ledge, he just took that completely away from There's that up tilt, though. That's so smart. Had both options covered just in case the up tilt missed. He went for down tilt. Try to start up a combo. He is jamming right now. What oh the heck? My goodness. Oh my gosh. Air dodging at the wrong time. No neutral air coming out, though. He did down air. Mm -hmm. And right now, Roy looking for another side B. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. A little misplaced air dodge. I think he wanted to air dodge to the ledge, but just end up. And with this back to the list, goes for a high recovery. Oh, oh no! My he gosh, that's out of nowhere though. Did he really get that F smash? Oh, oh, did he really get that down smash? Bro, that wasn't even sweet. Luck. I swear that's luck. That might have been. Bro, he that wasn't even. He hit him with the butter knife. Hit him yes. with the butter knife hitbox. Butter knife, and somehow, somehow he got it to work both times, two in a row. There it is. Well, I'll tell you what, man. Speaking of butter knife, my man Log is getting spread it. My man Sushi is moving and a grooving here. Oh, All right, one thing I'm noticing about Log right now, he just jumps into his opponent. Like, second jump in and do an attack. He needs to be able to figure, switch it up a little bit. Oh, okay. Never mind. He just gets a charge up smash at the ledge. Almost lucky to get that. Oh, look here. Second jump gets hit. That move is, up smash is so ridiculous, man. Like, it, just when you think it's safe to get up off the ledge, it just it has everything covered, dog. Okay. Nice. Like, the side special right there. Doesn't delay it either. Gets the counter. God dang. Who's, Roy is still our boy. All right, don't count.